Hello, Terry. Hello. Hi. So, would you like uh, sharing with us uh, how you were able to wean yourself off of coffee? Sure. Um, so, I came into your office on Friday, and um, this was my second appointment. Mm -hmm. And um, you had told me on the first appointment that you would eventually wanted me off of coffee. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought, no way would I ever be able to get off of coffee. Mm -hmm. So, I just kind of went along with you and. Um, but then, um, the second time, the second appointment, you said, um, I really think that you should get off of coffee. How are you doing on that? And I said, I'm doing terrible. I'm not off of coffee. Mm -hmm. And, um, you said, well, how will you know unless you try it? Mm -hmm. How will you know if you will get better unless you try it? Mm -hmm. And so, um, those words kind of rang in my ear, and the next morning I got up, and my husband made the worst coffee ever. <laughs> and so um, I took a sip of it, and I said, you know what, how will I know unless I try it? Mm -hmm. And so I put down that cup of coffee, and I just decided I'm going to just quit coffee cold turkey. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you, it wasn't easy, but mm -hmm. um, I had three days of just a really bad headache and mm -hmm. I, nothing that I could take would really get rid of it, it. but I was determined to um, to get off coffee because I didn't really realize I was so addicted to it mm -hmm. and so um, but then it was just like boom it just lifted up and mm -hmm. I was done with my headache and um, I switched over to tea and I found tea just as satisfying it's a nice to have a little break and mm -hmm. drink tea and mm -hmm. uh, lots of different flavors and everybody sells them. You can go to Starbucks and still get a tea. Uh -huh. and, um, Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> <laughs> and because um, it is hard when mm -hmm. everybody else is drinking coffee and mm -hmm. you are not, yeah. and it still smells great. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. I still miss it occasionally, mm -hmm. but I do feel a lot better being um, off of it. Being off of coffee, so um, mm -hmm. I just want to encourage everybody that you can get off of coffee. That that, uh, it's, it's doable. Doable. It's, it's doable. It was a little bit hard, yeah, but, but I feel a lot better and I'm awesome. um, proud of myself that I could do that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about? Um, do you drink caffeinated teas at all? I drink um, caffeinated teas and I drink yeah. non-caffeinated. Both. Mm -hmm. uh, do you find that caffeinated teas can still give you um, that the you know the fake energy that coffee gives you? Well, no, I never really felt like I drank coffee for the energy. No? Mm-mm. May I ask what it did for you? It um, was a comfort. Okay, okay. It was my comfort. It was my break. It so was it wasn't my... for, a, it wasn't for an, er, uh, like an energy lift? No. Oh, okay, okay. No, I just drank it for just to have a break, yeah. just for something to go and yeah. to have a break at work or right, right. to d go and have coffee with my friends mm -hmm. or... Um, I see. Stuff like that. So I never really had to get up and have coffee for my energy. Get going. Mm -hmm. But um, so I never, I didn't have to substitute that with anything. I see. You know, some people, that's why they drink coffee to get it, they drink it to get a mm -hmm. lift in the morning, to get going, or right. in the afternoon when they're uh, sleepy and tired. Right. Uh, for those patients, if they drink caffeinated teas, like green or black tea, especially if they, you know, make it thick and they drink enough of it, they get, enough, get, a, they get plenty of lift mm -hmm. from caffeinated teas. Uh, although they may still miss the effect of coffee, but really they can get plenty of caffeine from teas. Um, but yeah, it's comforting. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a habit. Mostly mm -hmm. it, people drink it out of right. habit. And I didn't know I was so addicted. Mm -hmm. And so then when I went off of it, mm -hmm. and I really don't like to be addicted to anything, mm -hmm. and I don't want it to, it to control me, Good for I, you. Want it to, I want to control Good for you. what's going on in my body. Excellent. That's what it takes to become healthy. Take control, taking control of your health, mm -hmm. which is a, I think, good line to end the video on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take control of your health. Amen. Thanks so much.